What's up guys? Hope you're doing well today. Just on my way back from a B&I meeting. About to have a glorious day. I know you are too. Yeah, I wanted to share something with you that um, I learned probably within like the last year. Um, no matter what area of life that you're, you're striving in, I, I guarantee you experience this, but it's those up and downs, right? You know, you have a great success and you're on an upward trend and then, you know, if, you're, if you were to graph things out, which I literally do, your graph starts going down. You start having that, that downward spiral and then, you know, you catch it, you go back up and you have that success and then it comes back down again. You know, um, I, I started experiencing this in, in different areas of my life and what I learned was that this is very normal and usually it's self-inflicted. And so this problem, if you're struggling with it, I wanna share with you the solution that I found to work for me. So I'm gonna use my business as the example for this, but I want you to take this same concept and I want you to apply it to literally any area of your life, any area that you're striving for a goal, right? Um, before I get started, I wanna thank you for watching. If this inspires you, share the stream. I'm Jerry with AG Capital. If you don't know who I am, that is totally my fault. We are gonna handle that. I take responsibility for it. Um, share the stream if this inspires you. My personal mission in, in my life, the reason I wake up every day and do what I do is because I have a goal of empowering millions of leaders to own their God-given ultimate potential. So please share, get this out. Uh, this message today is how to handle ups and downs in your life, okay? Um, let's say it's a relationship. You know, sometimes, you know, let's, let's relate maybe someone's marriage or their relationship with a significant other. You know, it might be volatile. Sometimes it's really good and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you plummet downhill. Or if you're fighting addiction, you know, sometimes you're doing really good and then you plummet and go downhill, right? If you're in business, your business jumps up and then it goes downhill. So I wanna share why that happens and I wanna share how you can fix it, what you can do about it. Because ultimately, something can be done about everything. Nothing is just, you know, not fixable. Everything has a solution. So the reason that this happens is because when we experience success, our subconscious is to relax, okay? So for me and my business, whenever I experience success where we have, you know, lots of new clients, lots of new sales, revenue is flowing in the door, I'm like, oh man, we've got it, we're good. You know, I did all this hard work, I was in danger, I got out of danger, I feel comfortable, okay? Comfortable is the most dangerous word. Actually, I'm gonna say second most. Comfortable is the second most dangerous word to anybody that's pursuing success, okay? Second only to the word realistic. If you're throwing that realistic word around, you might as well play Russian roulette with your dreams, okay? So comfortable is one of the most self-sabotaging terms out there. And so what comfortable looks like is we don't like being uncomfortable. So when we're uncomfortable, usually we fight, claw, tooth and nail in order to get comfortable, to get in a position where we don't feel at risk, where we don't feel exposed. And as soon as we get comfortable, our tendency is, okay, I'm comfortable, I can, I can enjoy it now. I don't have to keep fighting. I don't have to keep you know, trying to survive and struggling and, and clawing like that. And so when comfortable happens, that's immediately when our success starts to go in a downward spiral. So for me, anytime I'm in an up, upward graph in any stat in my business or life, what I do is I economize. Okay, I clamp it down even harder, dude. When I start seeing results, that's when I get rid of anything that didn't contribute to the result. I don't actually take a break. I don't, I don't ease up. I sprint harder, okay? So... If you, if you think of this like you know an Olympic athlete, run, athlete running in a race, when they know they're ahead, they don't slow down. Okay, when they know they're ahead of you, they sprint even harder because they know the distance that they create between themselves and their obstacle, which is you, is demoralizing to the obstacle. Okay, so when I'm experiencing success, uh, let's say if it's in my fit, personal fitness, my obstacle is not following my diet, not going to the gym when I know I'm supposed to, not getting enough sleep. And so when I'm experiencing success, I don't take a cheat meal, okay? I clamp it down even harder. I work out longer. I make sure I get even more sleep and that's demoralizing to my obstacle. And it prevents me from getting comfortable. Financially, the way that I do this, now this, this financial stuff, this is, this is really only for people that are gonna take this super seriously. When I am in financial affluence, and let's say I have a lot of money in the bank or I have a big income that rolls in or we have a high revenue month, I get rid of all of it. I put it, I reinvest it into my business or I put it in an account somewhere where I can't touch it 
so that I don't have the permission to be comfortable. If I can't tell it's there, I'm not gonna slow down. You know, I might've just had a big revenue month and I might've just had big income hit my bank account, but I don't see it or feel it, so I still have to fight like I'm dying. Okay, so that is how you prevent the ups and downs from happening. The ups and downs happen because we let our guard, our guard down the minute we feel comfortable. And so the solution is put yourself in a position where you are never comfortable. Okay, it's all about perception. So if you get rid of the perception of comfort, you end up having to continue to fight like you're in danger even though you might have affluence in that area, even though you might have abundance. So that's the problem, that's why it's happening, that's the solution. Like I said, I relate this to my business because that's where I'm at, you know, probably 15, 16 hours a day. And I want you to relate this to any area of your life that you're experiencing the ups and downs. It's because when you have a success, you're letting your guard down, you're letting your guard up, you're slowing down, you're letting yourself relax, and the solution to it is clamp down and sprint even freaking harder when you have that win. So that's my message today. Thank you again for watching. Hey, please share the stream. I appreciate all of you watching. Again, my goal is to help millions of leaders own their God-given ultimate potential, and I can only do that through your help. So if this inspires you, share it. If this message is something that you think somebody in your life can apply, share it. You never know what can change someone's life. Have a great Thursday. Thursday's my Friday. So all you guys wait until tomorrow to start your Friday. I'm a day ahead of y'all. Have a great day. Bye.